Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is Wolfenstein 3D, and this is not going to be a regular Let's Play, it's just going to be me messing around for fun. Uh, let me ch change where my microphone is. It's going to be me messing around for fun, um, but it's a pretty it's a pretty fun game, so we're going to play it a little bit. Episode 1, Escape from Wolfenstein. We'll do that. I'll play it on, uh, don't hurt me, because I'm not too good at this game. It's not a blind playthrough, or it's not a blind, uh run but it is a um i have i've not beaten the game and i've not gotten too far into the game so the one thing you want to do is um yeah mouse controls on okay good space bars open door okay i gotta make sure i remember all the controls this is a pretty cool this is a pretty cool game i want to make sure i got uh good um controls Mouse enabled, um, yeah, it works, sounds good to me. Alright, no, 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 don't want to quit the game, back to game, there we go. Now, this is a pretty cool game, um, I, may, I might do a few videos of this while I'm waiting for Skyrim to come out. Um, I want to, like, beat maybe a level per video. Uh, I'm not opposed to looking up, uh, walkthroughs for it, for it or whatever. Um, because it's a very old game and a very hard game that is not very forgiving. And if I actually do recommend a version of this game, I would actually recommend the iPhone iPhone version of all the versions. I'd argue that the iPhone version is the superior, the most superior version, just because of the um, the graphics are actually slightly slightly better. Um, the uh, controls are better, and it's portable, so I'd argue that the iPhone version is actually the um, best version of this game. I mean, you could make an argument against that, I suppose, but because um, you don't have the mouse and keyboard on the iPhone, but you know, it's uh, it's give and take, and how do I move, how do I strafe with the keyboard? How do I strafe with the keyboard? Okay, I guess I can't. Okay. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to Oops. I'll get used to the controls at some point. No, there's going to be a guy around here. I've memorized this first level, and there's a secret right there. And you want to make sure you get this, because this has in it the machine gun and some ammo. So you want to be sure to get that. I don't know where all the secrets are. Um, but actually, interesting thing about this game... It was originally banned in Germany when it first came out because of its depiction of Hitler and the Nazi symbol. And some games, even since then, have been censored. Like Call of Duty, the original Call of Duty games, I believe were censored in Germany, as were the Medal of Honor games. I have a friend who actually owns the German version of, Medal of, of one of the Medal of Honor games, and it does not have um, the Nazi symbol in it. They um, edited it out and... Everywhere that's in the American version that has the uh, Nazi symbol actually has the uh, Iron Cross instead. So it's kind of just an interesting thing to note that the uh, some games are different on which region you play them in. Of course, I've always known that. If you, look, if you play, um, come on, I got some. Oh, got him! If you play No More Heroes in Europe or Australia, it doesn't have any gore. It's um, gore free, which I think is kind of lame. I don't think that should be the case, but yeah. And this is the end of the level. So um, you see, there we go. So I'll play one more level, probably. It's loud. I'll probably play one more level. We did all right. We got a hundred health. Time. It took us three minutes. Kill ratio ninety percent. Secret ratio only twenty percent. Treasure ratio, 43%. So not, not that great. Get psyched! Alright. So we've escaped from our prison. Now we're going on to kill more people. The problem is, is that, for one thing, there's no map in this game. And everywhere looks the same. It's a lot of times the same problem I have with Minecraft. Because even though Minecraft's awesome, you can get lost... Come on. You can get lost very easily. Because... It's oftentimes, oh, I'm out of ammo. It's oftentimes very hard to tell where you're going because of the nature of the game to look similar wherever you are. Is that a pipe?
pile of piss that the dog just... That's disgusting. That's why you don't keep dogs in cages, people. That's why you let them roam free. Anyway, okay. Alright, so nothing in here. The controls are really weird for this game, by the way. Um, it's controlled almost entirely with the mouse. Like, even looking and strafing are controlled with the mouse. Oh! Uh, it's very odd. Ah! He got me. There you go. And you also can't change weapons. Actually, you can. You can change weapons like that. Okay, you can change weapons. But the scroll wheel, scroll wheel doesn't work to change weapons. Alright. So I'll stick with the, um... Actually, I'll stick with the knife for now. I want to save as much ammo as I can. Alright, I'll go through this door. Huh! Stab him, stab, 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 stab. Oh. Alright, there we go. And there's been various versions of this game throughout the years on different systems. Um, and actually, the game is different on each, can sometimes be different on each version. Um, depending on what version you played on, you played it on, and what country you played it in. There's sometimes different levels, different um, items, weapons, different. The guards have better or worse AI. Ow, he got me good. They sometimes have better or worse AI, depending on what version. Like, one thing is, most people don't know this, this game was originally designed as a stealth game. I don't think most people know that. It was originally designed as a stealth game, and you're going to have the ability to pick up soldiers' bodies and remove them. And the soldiers were going to be, like, patrolling the hallways. Uh, if they saw another soldier's dead body, they'd, like, raise an alarm and all that stuff. That's a pretty cool idea, but unfortunately, uh, that never came to fruition because technology wasn't there at the time. And because, folks, honestly, if that had been the case, we wouldn't have the modern first-person shooter. And um, John Carmack and John Romero, the creators of this game, uh, obviously knew that they were onto something when they created this as a first-person shooter. They knew that they were onto something. Uh, I don't think they knew what they were onto. I don't think they could ever have imagined Doom and Quake and um, Rage and all the uh, other, you know modern shooters that they've made, you know, since then. But I, I do think they, they knew that they were onto something when Wolfenstein first came out, and they really were onto something because there's not been a game, in, in my opinion, quite as revolutionary as Wolfenstein, aside from something like maybe The Legend of Zelda. I think would be equally revolutionary in its own right. Oh! Okay, he almost got me. The secret's not a secret, okay. You want to check these suits of armor, because sometimes if you shoot them or something, they'll have a secret in them. It's a good idea to do that if you can. Alright, I'll head left first. Alright, there we go. Ooh, these guys have better guns. And I'm out of ammo. Oh! Get him, 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 get yeah, these guys, you know, those guys can be pretty tough if you don't, um, have, uh, the, come here we go, come on here, just do this corner, yeah, check these corners, because a lot of times, you can sneak up on the, on the enemy like that, uh, uh, uh. okay, you want to save ammo if you can, like I've been trying to do, because like I said, like you saw earlier, I ran out of ammo, I couldn't take out those guys, so, it became a problem. One thing I kind of wish is that there isn't there isn't another game in the Wolfenstein series where you can uh, there's actually several games several games in the series there's one game in the series where you can rescue um, other prisoners but in this game and I think that was actually the original concept for this game but it just didn't ever happen and I'm kind of upset about that because that would have been a cool idea sneak up on him so you can you actually can sneak in this game watch this. Ah, uh, he got me at the last second, but he didn't actually shoot me, but he heard slash saw me at the last second. No one in there, okay, good. But yeah, this is, um, 
definitely an amazing game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I'm not saying that just because like it's old and I, I like old games because they're old. I actually do consider this a really amazing game uh, for a multitude of reasons. I don't get killed there. For a multitude of reasons. I, I do quite enjoy it. Oh! Uh, you know, I'm not one of those hipster guys that just like, you know, hates all new games and just thinks everything that's older than 1990 is the best game ever. Um, but this actually was made in the 90s, I think. Anyway, um, you know, I'm not one of those guys. I, I, I love modern games. I don't think there's anything wrong with modern games. Um, as a whole, of course, you could argue that there are certain aspects of modern games that aren't that great, but you know, as a whole, modern games, pretty good. Oh, no, no, get out of there. Come on. Interesting thing is this is... Aww, oh, I got killed. Uh, I'll try this level one more time. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be a bit too conservative, maybe. Maybe a bit too conservative. I'll, uh... Tone it down on the conservativeness with my ammo. Stab the dog. Because I definitely am being a bit... And actually, another thing most people don't know. This is not the first game in the Wolfenstein series. This is the uh, third game in the Wolfenstein series. The first two were not developed by id Software, funnily enough. They were developed by someone else whose name escapes me. By some other company. Um, and when I say id Software, I mean, you know, John Carmack and John Romero, because at this time that's all it was, was those two guys. And then I just don't call them ID Software. That's not their name, they're id Software. But yet, people persist on calling them ID Software. Anyway. Um, stab him to death, there we go. Um, yeah, they're not id, ID Software, they're id Software. I don't, I never understood why people said that. But, um, even still, yeah, this is the third game in the Wolfenstein series. The, um, first two actually were stealth games. And, um, without buying the rights to the series, I believe, um, id Software made this game. Uh, and I, I don't think anyone actually owned the rights to the series at that point. Ow, I got shot. I don't think the original company actually owned the rights to the series. I think they just, um, because they never copyrighted it. So id felt that it was upon them to improve the series and take it in the direction that they felt, which I'm kind of glad that they did, because without it we wouldn't have the modern first person shooter. But I'm kind of, I kind of wish the other company had really taken it in their direction, because it was quite amazing. Um, it was the Wolfenstein 1 was the um, first stealth game ever. If you want to be technical, it was the first stealth game ever. Um, it was the first game to ever have voice acting, actually. It had um, synthesized voice actors speaking German. It was pretty cool. Um, it wasn't the best game. I've never played it, but I've seen it being played. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's not anything that, you know, really hold water today in the modern gaming market, but it's, uh, an interesting diversion if you're interested in it. You know, if you're, uh, into that kind of thing. I'd, I'd recommend checking it out. I would check it out if I were you. Um, you know, it's fun. It's interesting. Alright, so, now we're coming back to where I was before. Can I save the game here? Just in case. Save game. I'll save it here just in case. Yeah, there. Save it as let's play. All right, and this is going to be more. Um, like I said, this isn't going to be a really a regular let's play. Um, it's to buy the time until Skyrim comes out, and then after Skyrim comes out, I may. There we go. I may do some more of it. Um, it's going to be like while a Skyrim video is rendering or something. I'll go this way this time. While a Skyrim video is rendering or uploading or something, and I don't want to do another one. Um, I can just do this. I can crank these out pretty fast. They're going to be low file sizes, upload quick, render quick. It's going to be a pretty fun, uh, it's going to be a pretty fun let's play, I think. I, I, I'm also really excited to finally beat this game. Uh, I think that'll really be something that is, uh, is good to do. Because I've never beaten it before and I really want to. Alright. Um, and I also may play Doom at some point because I actually have beaten Doom. Um, or at least the f I've gotten very close to the ending. I can't remember if I ever beat it. I've seen it been beaten, and I have gotten very close to the end, but I don't remember ever beating it myself. I may have beaten it. 
Yep, this is before exploding barrels, so the barrels would not explode. Much to my chagrin, I think they should explode. But I guess technology wasn't really there at that point. See, oh, see, they take you out quick. They take you out quick. Now I'm gonna load that real quick. I want to see if I can uh, load my save game. I'm gonna see if I can beat him. Under let's play. There we go. Let me see if I can beat that guy. I think that I've got a. Um, I think I can. I think I can do it. Uh, I was right here. I was going this way. Oh, there we go. I'll save it um, again once I've gotten to that area. Yeah, you don't want to go left. That's where the bunch of them are. You're easy. You. One guy there. Is that guy there? Get him there. Um, but yeah, if you can hear their actual like sound effects, those are actual recorded voices. They're not, you know the um, pixelated sounds of the era that tried to pass for voices. Alright, we're coming up to this guy. I'm gonna save it here. Cause I wanna beat this uh I wanna beat this guy. Alright, let's play. Yeah. Yes. There we go. There we go. No, I don't wanna quit the game, I just wanna exit this. There we go. Health. Oh yeah, health item. These uh, you get stakes that give you health item. Not stakes, but they're um, maybe they are stakes. I don't know. They're not stakes. They're uh, chicken, chicken dinners or something. And that's main, remained a staple of the series up until at least the third game, which was um, a really cool game in its own right. Uh, it was the first really, truly 3D game in the series, despite the ha the subtitle of the first game being called you know Wolfenstein 3D. Now I think I can beat this guy. I'm not sure if you can open doors. I'm not sure if you can open doors. Did you, there he is. I can see his pixelated, pixelated junk at the end of the hallway. Look at that. Oh yeah, son. Ain't got nothing on me. Ain't got nothing. Pick up his machine gun. All right, now let's see. Let's see what goodies he had waiting for us. All right, I'll save in here too. I'll save it real quick, and maybe I can beat this level before I want to end the part. I'm not sure how much longer this level is. Um, the good thing about this game, and all uh, shooters of this period, is the amount of exploration they have. Uh, it's just crazy compared to modern modern games. Um, I I heard uh, something that kind of broke my heart today. Oop. You're scary. And that was, uh, quote, Modern Warfare 2 is the shit, quote, unquote. Um, and honestly, you know, I've got nothing wrong against Call of Duty series. I've done a Let's Play of some Call of Duty games. I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with the Call of Duty games. But to call them, quote, unquote, the shit is, uh, in my opinion, a bit of an overstatement. They're not necessarily bad games, but they're certainly not good games. Uh, at least not the newer ones. The originals are pretty good. Oh, there we go. He hurt us kind of, kind of bad, but yeah, Call of Duty. It's it's not a bad series. Don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not gonna be one of those Call of Duty haters. It's just like it's the worst series in the world. I don't understand how anyone could like it. No, no, no. It's all, it's an alright series. It's uh, as a whole, I like Call of Duty. But what I hate is when people are like, Call of Duty is the best shooter in the world. There's not a single shooter in the world that's better than Call of Duty. I'm like, dude, seriously, just shut the hell up. You have no clue what you're talking about. What the heck? Did I go in these doors? Oh, no, I, I guess I didn't. Oh, thought I'd already been in here. I guess not, because the lack of stuff being looted would be an indicator. All right. Now you go in here. There we go. Get this guy. There you go. I've heard that the uh, last boss of this game is quite um, hard, and the last boss, if you, like, if you uh, don't care about, care about it being spoiled, and I guess everyone knows it by this point, the last boss is Hitler. You actually fight like a mechanized Hitler, 
That's pretty cool. Um, I want to save it right here because this is kind of a hard room where there's two of these uh, machine gun guys. So I want to save it there. Alright. No, don't check out. Alright, go back to game. There we go. Maybe it's not this room. I don't know where we are. That's ah, here. There we go. There we go. See, this time I didn't get hit once. Didn't get hit once. It just shows you superior firepower, planning, um, stuff like that. That's the end of the level, but I guess I need a card key or something. Those guys will come out of nowhere and kill you. Alright. I just gotta... I gotta get a card key or something, I think. Ooh. Oh! To unlock the door. I don't really remember. I've, yeah, key, see? Key. Pick up the key. Um, I only see two key slots, so I'm guessing there can actually only actually be two keys in the entire game. Would be my guess. Like, two keys per level. That would be my assumption. But I can't really prove that. So I won't try to prove it. Anyway. Got here. There we go. And that, my friends, is the end of the level. Um, I think it was. I think I did pretty well. Um, decent enough. So I'll just go on to the next level, and I'll save it here. And we will come to this next time. I remember this level. I remember that one. But we're not. We're gonna save it for next time. I remember that level. Remember, it kind of being a bitch with a map. I had a map for it on the iPhone version. I played it with a map. It was kind of a bitch still. Anyway, folks, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.